new lenses are starting to hit the market and that is changing the game completely. Voigtlander are bringing us the In today's video I'm going to give you four good reasons why you no longer need a Leica M film camera. Until recent times if you wanted to use modern optics on a rangefinder camera the only option was to buy M mount cameras. Everyone then bought Leica cameras and in the last 10 years the prices of Leica M cameras has gone up three times. If only there was a cheaper solution. Thankfully, the lens manufacturers seem to be entering my dreams. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about four lenses, which will allow you to use much more affordable cameras. Hello, welcome. Matt here from MrLeica.com. So yes, I had a very exciting email yesterday. Voigtlander are bringing out a brand new lens. It is the Voigtlander Color Scope R 28 f 2.8. But that's not the exciting bit. The exciting bit is it's being brought out in both M out and like a screw mount or LT M mount. So this is the fourth reason of the four things that I'm about to tell you as to why you don't need a like M camera. Before we get to the new lenses, let's just step back a second and talk about the cameras. So most people when they're looking at Leica cameras automatically seem to have their, their big blinkers on and only look at Leica M cameras. What most people don't seem to realize is Leica made like a SLR cameras, similar to say Nikon SLR or Canon SLR. We're not talking about those today. They also made the earlier Leica 3 cameras. If you've seen this channel before, you can already see my face lighting up. Leica 3 cameras are fantastic, aka Barnack cameras. These cameras are like a screw mount, and the lenses we're talking about in this video are made to fit these vintage cameras. It gets even better than that. You can also get cheap alternatives which are clones of these Leica cameras which are even cheaper. So Leica 3 cameras themselves are, pff, I'd say anything from around £300, maybe $400, dollars to $400 on eBay. You may then need to spend a bit of money to give it a full CLA. These are old cameras from kind of 1930s onwards. If you don't want to spend that much money on your first Leica camera, you can look at the Soviet clones. And those are things like the... Fed 2 is screw mounts, the Zorki 1C is like a thread mount. These are all clones of Leica cameras and these can be found really, really cheap on eBay. They're not quite as smooth, but they will take exactly the same pictures, especially when using wide angle lenses, which we're gonna talk about in a second. But wait, I know what you're saying, like, but Matt, these old cameras, they're no good to me. They take too long to load the film. You have to cut the film leader before you can put the film in the camera and I can't be faffing around with all that. I need a light meter, I need my mod cons. Don't worry, I've got you covered with this also. If you want mod cons such as a light meter, fast film loading, uh, SLR style back, 2000th of a second shift speed, 125th of a second flash sync speed, and multiple frame lines in your viewfinder, you could get something like the Voigtlander Besser R, which is also a screw mount and will also fit all these lenses I'm about to talk about. If you're happy with zone focusing, you could also get the Voigtlander Besser L. And it's got no range finder and no viewfinder, but it's absolutely fantastic for zone focusing, like scale focusing, where you're estimating the distance. You just read it off on the top of your lens. So those two cameras will give you fast loading if you don't want to be bothered with much older cameras. The Besser cameras are like 60, 70 years newer than many of the Leica cameras, the Leica 3 cameras. And so if you were about cameras being too old, maybe look at the Bessers. But if you want like pure, amazing build quality and just like a smile on your face every time you take a picture, spend a little bit more and uh, get yourself a, a Leica. <laughs> like a 3, not a Leica M. Yes, you can have a Leica M cameras as well. And yes, I do enjoy those, but the small compact size of the Leica 3 cameras combined with the lenses that I'm gonna tell you about are just such a strong reason. I'm just packing at the moment for a trip I've got nice Leica M cameras, I've got Leica R cameras, but the cameras that are getting packed currently are Leica 3 cameras because size is always so important for me. I need like a small compact setup for flight. And so for a travel situation, Leica 3 cameras are fantastic. <laughs> okay, onto the lenses before you get annoyed at me for not telling you about the lenses. Four massive reasons why you may want to get a Leica 3 camera coming up. One of the first lens manufacturers to start answering my dreams and prayers was Voigtlander when they released the Voigtlander Helia 40mm f 2.8 Leica screw mount lens, also available in M mount. This is a really compact lens and it is really sharp from 2.8 onwards and it is fantastic. This lens is always permanently glued to the front of my 1931 Leica 1 standard. 
You can see that in my favourite camera of 2023 or off-grid photography video. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, but Matt, these old cameras have 50mm viewfinders. What's the point of buying a 40mm lens? I'm like, yeah, hey, hey. The good news is, with many of the 50mm viewfinders, if you put your eye right close to the viewfinder, you can see wider than 50mm, and that gives you the equivalent of a 40mm uh, estimated field of view. And then I use that. So I use my fixed 50mm viewfinder on my Leica cameras with a 40mm lens and have no problems at all. If you want to be really precise, you can actually get a Voigtland 40mm viewfinder and just pop that on the, the cold shoe on the top of the cameras. Okay, coming in at number two. Light Lens Lab released their 35mm f2.8 element lens, which is like a Summicron clone. That is available in screw mount and in M mount, and it's available as collapsible and rigid. I've got the collapsible version and the size is just mm, so good, it's just so small, it's one of the smallest lenses that I own and it's designed to give you the really nice rendering of the Summicron F2 version 1, the 8 element. Again, it's a 35mm lens so you will need an external viewfinder on the Leica 3 cameras, however if you use a Voigtlander Besser R that does have a 35mm frame line built in. Also some of the vintage Canon rangefinder cameras. They also have a 35mm frame line, so that would be another option to use a vintage camera with this modern lens. Reason number three and the reason for making this video is TT Artisan just sent me their brand new 28mm f5.6 LTM version of their lens. So if you saw my video on their M mount version, I said this lens is amazing. There's this one massive problem with it. It's M mount, not screw mount. The fact that it's so small and so beautifully made, it will just, it's just shouting out please put me on a like a screw out camera <laughs> because it's really good for zone focusing so for a small vintage like a screw mount camera you zone focus it with a 28mm lens and it's just the perfect walk around setup so again you'll need a 28mm viewfinder to go on the top of the camera you can get cheap ones from say KEKS we can get nice ones from the likes of Voigtlander this lens is absolutely beautifully made and I've really would say that not all Chinese lenses are made equally. I've reviewed quite a lot of Chinese lenses now over the last few years. Some are great, some are not so great. And in my mind, it is the number one TTR lens in terms of build quality. And it just feels so like a like. Uh, if you don't know, it's a clone of the Leica Summer Ron 28 5.6. The difference is the Leica lens is now only available in M mount, where you can buy this new in screw mount. Uh, the original one was made in silver and black. The screw mount is only available in silver, so do be aware of that. The M version range from a couple is from 1 meter. The LTM version range from a couple is from 1.2 meters. But for scale focusing, pretty much everything's in focus anyway at 5.6, so it really doesn't matter that much. As if one of my photography friends from Dubai came to London a couple of days ago, and it was the day that the TT Artan lens arrived, so we went out into London despite the rain and took a few photos. Here are some sample photos shooting the TTR sound lens on the Leica M240. I got this lens to shoot on film but I wanted to do a quick test first on digital. If you want to see how good this lens is on film, these photos are shot with the TTR sound 28mm f5.6 on a Leica M4P in Budapest. And I was really happy with the image quality. Nearly all of them are shot at either f5.6 or f8. And yeah, I couldn't be happier. The lens does suffer from lens flare, so you'd better to not point at the bright sources of light. But you can even use it for portraits as seen here. Yes, twin take more portraits are not a common phenomenon. But these photos are shot with the 28 TT Artisan, I believe on the Leica SL. And I was playing with the flare in terms of a creative aspect to actually enhance the photos. So flare doesn't always need to be a bad thing. And finally, number four. The email that came yesterday that made my eyes light up. Voigtlander are bringing us the Color Scope R 28mm f2.8 in both M mount and in screw mount. There's going to be a Type 1 and a Type 2, and they do vary slightly. One version is going to focus slightly closer, and the look of the lens is slightly different. It almost makes you want to buy two the one that focuses closer for the, say, like SL and then the screw mount one to fit on my film cameras. So I'm definitely gonna be reviewing this lens and 
If you're not yet subscribed and you like this type of stuff, feel free to subscribe. I'll get one as soon as I can. And some of the rumors say it's going to be as sharp as a Voiland Ultron lens. And if it's as good as my 40mm Helia, it's going to be permanently attached to one of my screw cameras as my walk around setup. So in summary, if you've already got like M cameras, brilliant. You can use all of these lenses via an adapter on your existing camera. However, if you've always been sitting on the fence, hoping that one day Leica would make a cheaper camera, now you don't need to wait any longer. You can use their existing Leica 3 cameras, which are already cheaper, and just use the lenses which are now being made available for that system. They're just so good to like fit in a small pocket or like the small Wotan craft bag that I use. I can put a link below to that pouch that I sometimes wear in some of my videos. To see videos on the mentioned lenses, I can link these here. A huge thanks to my awesome patrons and thanks to the lens companies for bringing us screw mount lenses.